First step, removing the logo from a car. Duplicate your video twice and rename. First layer will be animation. Second will be clean layer. Hide animation and original layers, click on eye icon. Select the clean layer and mask out the logo. You don't need to mask it perfectly. Click on M and change mode to subtract. Right click on the mask and select track mask. Change method to position, scale and rotation and track the mask. Nice, let's remove the logo from the car. Go to window and enable content aware fill. Copy my settings and press generate fill layer. Amazing! Move the fill layer under the animation. Enable animation by clicking on eye icon and let's animate the logo. Second step, logo reveal and animation. We need to mask the logo again, but this time perfectly. For masking, you can choose a pen tool, roto brush or use a mocha AE for the best results. That's what I prefer and suggest you too. In mocha AE, select a pen tool and draw a perfect selection. Press tracking button and enjoy the amazing selection. Click the save button and close Mocha AE. Open matte and enable apply matte. Add a linear wipe to the layer. Change wipe angle to minus 90. Make a keyframe for transition completion at the start and set value to 100%. Go a few frames forward and set the value to zero. Almost done, let's add some effects on it. Third step, turbulent displace effect. You can copy my settings or adjust the values on your own and make it look as you will enjoy. Hold Alt and press on Evolution Watch icon. Type there, time 250. This will animate Turbulent Displace. Let's match the animation of Turbulent Displace with Linear Wipe, as the logo fully reveals. The Turbulent Disk Place will stop there. Go forward where the logo starts revealing and set a keyframe there for the amount. Then go forward where the logo fully reveals and set a keyframe to zero. Nice, let's add a saber effect on it. Fourth step, saber effect. If we apply a saber on the layer, it won't work because we don't have a mask on the layer. To create a mask, simply go to layer tab and select auto trace. After effects will create a mask over the logo. The only thing, now we need to track that mask and that's easy to do. Press M to open up a mask, then right click on it and select track mask. I prefer and suggest you to track it manually for better results. Track it backward and forward if you start tracking from the middle like me. Nice, now add saber effect on the layer. Then go to the render settings and set composite settings to add. Now go to customize core and set the core type to layer mask. Go to preset and select energize. Copy my settings or adjust it by your own. Let's animate the saber. Go to the moment where the logo starts animation. Set end offset to 0% and create a keyframe. Then go to the moment where the logo is fully revealed and set the keyframe to 100%. Cool. Now as you play back video, the saber reveals with the logo. Press U on your keyboard and move the keyframes forward or backward until you are happy with the movement of the saber reveal. Then go a few frames forward and set a keyframe for start offset to 0% then go to the very end of the video and set a keyframe to 100%. This will make a saber effect come in and go out. Press U and let's smooth the motion of saber revealing. Select end offset keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard. Then go to graph editor and make a nice smooth curve. Do the same to the start offset keyframes. Done, car logo revealing is ready. You can add as much effects to it as you want. This was the basic and short tutorial of how to make it. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.